What is up everybody? It is Aug here. The August 30k challenge is officially in the books. I set out this month with the goal of being able to farm 30,000 gold while still being able to play the game the way that I wanted to. So still be able to raid, still be able to PvP if I wanted to, to do TK and SSC attunements and get ready for phase two. And it was a ton of fun. Huge shout out to everyone who came on Twitch, supported me along the way, kept me sane, Bola for somewhat keeping me sane or making fun of me throughout the time, which kept everybody else entertained. So thanks, Bola. And for everybody who joined into the groups along the way, whether it was to get boosted or just to come level up your alts. It was a ton of fun. And guys, if you're looking to support this channel as well, but you don't have Twitch or you don't want to watch Twitch, but if you have Amazon Prime, you guys can still support me completely for free, actually. So if you're interested in that, check out the link down below. I made a short little video explaining how you guys can do that. Now, my goal was to do both Paladin and Mage Farms along the journey for this month. And I definitely did Paladin and Mage Farms, but predominantly I did Mage Farms because I figured out that Mages are still king. I'm very sorry to all the Paladin people who may be incredibly offended by that comment, but Mages are kings. I think a lot of that comes back to the fact that the Mage Farms can't be botted as easily, where Paladin Farms are more so a rotational basis thing. There's not as much RNG that's going on. But for Mages, you are able to make a ridiculous amount of gold right now. And a lot of the time was spent with Steam Vaults and Shadow Labs doing duo farms, making stupid amounts of gold per hour, not including Lucky Drops. 1,000 gold per hour is what we averaged in both Steam Vaults and Shadow Labs throughout the entire challenge while running through. Now, granted, sometimes I was doing less because I was giving free runs to people, but if I was actually charging for the boosts and including all the loot that I got for the months, we're looking at some serious, serious profit. So how much did we end up making in the month? Well, guys, you can see Don Santos just sold right there. It's the epic drop that I did get. We actually only got one really good epic drop, by the way, the entirety of the month, which is insane. And we still technically have like 32 lock boxes that we still need to open, but rough estimate of how much gold we did make during the month, we will see in just a second. What I did, guys, was I compiled all my arcane dust. I compiled all of my greater planners, large prismatics, because I think with phase two coming out and more enchants that people are going to want People are going to, you know, want those mats again. So I compiled those into a bank. I also spent a lot of gold. I spent gold on Paris Hilton bags. I spent gold on buying Bola and Epic Flyer. I spent gold on buying myself gear just to be able to do the farms or to do the farms better. A Blade of Wizardry to test haste procs and things like that. So I spent a good amount of gold along the way, but ultimately ended up having about 12,000 just pure raw gold even at the end of the challenge. And then here you can see the bank with the massive amount of enchanting mats that we had. A disgusting amount of enchanting mats. 959 arcane dust, 216 greater planers, 24 large prismatic shards. And all of this and some greens for resist that I ended up not selling. I'm holding on to build resist sets for tanking and things like that. All this combined though, guys, we ended up making 35,000 750 gold over the course of the month, not even playing and farming a ton. It was a moderate amount relative to what it could have been. And here is the final breakdown of how we got there. About six days in, I decided I would keep track kind of of the various mats that we were picking up. And there were some things that caused me to lose gold along the way. For example, coil fang armaments, I put it at a value of five gold initially. But ultimately, there were some other people that were going to start jumping into the Steam Vaults farm. And so I dropped that down and I just decided to liquidate about halfway through. I liquidated for an average price of 2 gold, 79 silver. Now on my server, they're about 4 gold. So lost out on some gold there for sure since we had, at the time, it was probably more like 1,500 coil fang armaments that we sold. So that was a good amount of gold. I also dropped down my arcane dust from two gold to 1.5 because the price of basically the flip that I was doing to turn arcane dust into some extra money decreased. But you can see here the breakdown of the gold. So we had loan repayments. Guys, I came into this owing 8.5 thousand gold. And so one of the big things I wanted to do with all this gold, as I talked about in the first video, was pay back those loans. So we got those loans paid back. And you can see here with the 2,500, we bought Paris Hilton bags. Here's how much gold we had just in raw gold on my two accounts, 11,410 
plus the auctions ended up selling. So it's more like 13,000 raw gold we had at the end. And then the bowl of mountain blade of the wizardry. On top of that, I bought gear, as I said, I bought raid mats, I bought mats for the farms. And so realistically, we probably made about 40,000 gold along the way, and then spent about 5,000 gold on it to buy other things back. And then here's the enchanting mats that we ended with. Surprisingly, only about 3,000 gold in enchanting mats. Now, I expected a lot more than that, to be honest, because we got a lot of greens. There were times where we were disenchanting hundreds of greens at the end of the day because Steam Vaults drops them like handy, but ultimately ended up with about 3,000 gold. I think a lot of this comes back to the botting that's currently going on in the game too, dropping down the enchanting mats. But overall, guys, we ended at 35,750 gold. So what's next? Well, I'm still going to be AOE farming, but guys, we have a huge month in September. Like September. So basically what Twitch is doing this month is that every sub is cheaper. You can still do the free subs through Amazon Prime, but subs themselves are $4. And so I wanna do a special challenge. If you guys join my Discord with the link down in the description down below, you can come into my Discord and come to this upcoming stream schedule channel. In the stream schedule, I have my stream schedule listed out for the entire month so you guys know when I'm gonna be going live, come pop up into the stream. Now this is subject to change if things come up, obviously, because you can't always forecast out a month, but it's, should be pretty much when I'm gonna be streaming and then maybe I'll pop in some extra weekend days. But during the month, because it's September, if we hit 500 subs, we're gonna do a 12 hour stream, 1000 subs, 24 hour stream, and 1500 subs, we're gonna do one to 70 world record solo mage attempt. No help, no boosting, no auction house. So we have the potential to have a ton of fun this month. We'll see what happens. These are cumulative by the way, so, if we hit 1,500 subs, it doesn't mean that these two don't happen. It just means they also happen on top of this. So if you guys want to come support me, if you want to do it completely for free, check out the link down in the description down below. But if you want to come support me on the Twitch, definitely come hang out. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching the challenge for the past month, and I will see you guys next time.